let our beautiful banana spider have a little crawl around on my face. So if she'll oblige me. There she goes. Spiders are a source of fear for many people and a source of fascination for others. In today's episode of The Wild Report, we are gonna get up close and personal with the largest non-tarantula spider in North America. This is the banana spider. Right there is the banana spider. Let's catch it. Let's see if we can get her just gently on this stick. I can tell you this web is extremely strong. Okay, okay. Wow, guys, that is amazing. Holy cow, yes, we finally got one. All right, let me show you this amazing animal right here. This amazing arachnid right here is an animal that I have wanted to capture on camera for years now. This is the banana spider, otherwise known as the golden orb weaver or the golden silk spider. Now, the common name golden silk spider and golden orb weaver actually come from a yellow pigment found in this spider's silk, whereas the name banana spider comes partially from their size and from their yellow coloration. Now, I remember being told as a kid that banana spiders were the most venomous spiders in the world, and that is simply not true. Their venom is actually relatively impotent to humans, okay? It's specifically designed to paralyze insect prey. Anything that gets tangled in the web of a golden orb weaver could potentially become food for a golden orb weaver. Now, they will wrap them up just like other orb weavers, but something that makes them kind of special is that they will usually inject their venom first, whereas other orb weaving spiders will usually wrap up the prey and then inject venom. So they are kind of more go-getters in terms of how they hunt. Now, obviously, once prey is captured, just like with other spiders, they are going to inject a little slurry of digestive enzymes into that prey item, and then they just kind of sip out the insides like a nice smoothie, rather than having to worry about chewing it up or anything like that. And like all of our other orb weaving spiders, our banana spiders exhibit sexual dimorphism. So this is a female, and I know that because of her large size and distinctive yellow spotted coloration, as well as this kind of fuzzy looking leg warmers that you see on all eight of her legs. Now the males are much smaller, about 1 30th or so of the mass of a female, and they're more brown or red in coloration. So they are very easy to tell apart. Females can get up to three inches in body size, but when the legs are included, they may reach four to six inches across. And you can see that this large female is definitely pushing that maximum size, which is really exciting for me to finally be able to see and handle. Obviously, as I'm working with her, she's just kind of crawling around, having a good time. This is not an aggressive species. This is not a dangerous species. This is not a species which you should fear for any reason. In fact, banana spiders are very important to our ecosystems because they eat an immense amount of insects, okay? I, for one, absolutely hate mosquitoes, and animals like our banana spiders are consistently reducing our mosquito populations and other biting and pest insects, which is really helpful. So plenty of predators and also plenty of prey items for our banana spider, which makes it a very important middle layer of our ecosystem. Now, the silk of the golden orb weaver is actually really unique also, not just for its yellow color, but for some of its qualities. It is about eight times stronger than steel in terms of tensile strength, but it also has a much higher thermal conductivity than steel, which makes it really interesting for both engineering and medical research. What I want to do is actually pull out one of my classic spider fear to fascination tricks, which is, of course, let our beautiful banana spider have a little crawl around on my face just to prove to you guys that there really is nothing to fear from these, okay? And that they're not out to get you. So if she'll oblige me. There she goes. Nothing to be worried about. She is just hanging out right on top of my head there. You can see her, hopefully. Hey, and there she goes. And you can see she's just having a little crawl down. We'll get her back in my hand. Just like that, awesome. Nothing to fear from the banana spider. So the next time you see a banana spider in the wild or just came here because you were curious to see if they really are as dangerous as people say, now you know these are a harmless species which can be appreciated for the beautiful arachnids that they are and for the special job that they perform in our ecosystems. What an amazing animal encounter. 
we'll grab a couple quick B-roll shots and we will get this beautiful animal right back in her natural habitat. So we'll set her on this palm tree trunk and let her continue about her life. But what an amazing animal encounter that was. That was fantastic. I'll see you on the next episode of The Wild Report. But until then, stay safe and keep adventuring everywhere. This is Ben Zeno of The Wild Report, signing out.